So this is the easiest way, the quickest way to get Windows 11 running on a Mac. You've got your Mac OS operating system, but then you're at work and at work they say, I must use Windows. I need this application because it's only available on Windows. Or at home, your friends give you some stuff. They give you the newest game and it doesn't work on the Mac because it's the Mac. It doesn't have the same software in some cases. You then build a virtual machine and then you just run it side by side on your Mac. Now there's a platform like VMware Fusion and that lets you do sort of a version of Windows, but it doesn't run too good and it requires a little bit of tinkering. I've done a video on that one before that you can go and look at, but I love, the use of Parallels. And Parallels is an application very similar to VMware Fusion, but I actually think it works that little bit better in actually getting Windows 11 to run on your Mac. So back in the day, there used to be three options to install Windows. This is before there was the M1, the M2 chips. You used to have Boot Camp, and Boot Camp was the big one. And you can see over here that Boot Camp right now, you've still got it installed on your Mac. However, it doesn't really work anymore. So we can't use that one. So... That one's gone. Then you've got VMware Fusion. And VMware Fusion, look, does an okay job at doing it. It will require you to do a little bit of tinkering. It's not gonna generally work natively, but we can sort of show you what will happen if you try to run Windows 11. So to get VMware Fusion, you go to your Google machine, type in VMware Fusion, and there it is. And then you go and buy online, or you can try the pro version for free. When you open up VMware Fusion, you're gonna be provided with this screen right on here, where you're gonna have to go and install from your disk or your image. You're gonna need a ISO of Windows 11. Go into your Google Google machine, you'll be able to find one there. You can actually get one from the Microsoft website, but you need that ISO file. And then you go and point this to your Windows 11 ISO that you have downloaded off the internet. I'm gonna go and grab it and I just drag it into there. Now this is essentially what's gonna happen. You'll see that it says this virtual machine cannot be powered on because it requires an x86 machine. And this is because the M1, the M2 thing doesn't work too well with VMware Fusion. So now you can go and check out this video right here if you wanna go and check out how do we saw Windows 11 using VMware Fusion. But this is why I probably prefer Parallels over Fusion because you don't have to go do all of this tinkering. Same deal into your Google, you're gonna type in Parallels. Here it is, Parallels, Mac and Windows. You can go and buy it right from here, which is always a good thing because you're never gonna regret it. When the download is finished, you go and install Parallels for your desktop. I'm gonna say open. And then go ahead and just follow the standard installation of Parallels. To be able to enable all of the features, Parallels Desktop needs access to several directories. If you do not allow access to them, some features may work incorrectly or not work at all. So you may wanna go and do that, making sure that they're all ticked and you click on finish. Now I will let you know right here that this is gonna be running side by side with your Mac, okay? This is gonna be running within the Mac operating system itself. So the Sonoma operating system is gonna give a little bit of the hardware resources off your Mac to give to your Windows 11. So your Windows 11 is gonna grab some of that RAM, some of that CPU to borrow it. So then your Mac may run a little bit slower because those resources have been given to the Windows side. But the great thing about virtualization is that you can add and change this later on. So you can give it more resources later. You can take away resources later if you need to. Just by shutting down that VM, you can adjust some of those resources there. What's great about Parallels is yes, you've already gone and got yourself your Windows 11 ISO, but right out of the box, you can actually do this directly from Parallels. Parallels will go and do all of that work for you and go and download Windows 11. So you can click on Start Install, it'll do that. And then note that you will need to activate this copy of Windows 11 after installation. You'll still need to get yourself a key and get it activated. Now, if you've already got the Windows 11 ISO, so you can click on skip and then manually do that. Let's show you quickly what you can do there. And then we'll go back and show you the Windows 11 piece real quick. So two options, get Windows 11 from Microsoft or we can install another operating system. I can click on that right over here. It's actually found the installation type. Windows 11, I already had it on my desktop and I can click on that and say continue, all right? And that will start the installation process. But let's actually let Parallels do the whole lot. Back to the start, install Windows. So this is now going to the Microsoft website. It's gonna get your Windows 11 ISO, gonna download it and get it all ready for you. There it is, 4.38 gigabytes is what it's gonna take. Grab yourself a coffee and we'll check back in a second. So with the download completed, the installation now commences and you can see that it's starting the installation automatically of your Windows 11. It's gone and assigned the resources that are needed for your Parallels installation. The hard drive, the CPU, the RAM, which is going to be given to it from your Mac OS. At this stage, you can grab yourself another coffee 
if you really want to be caffeinated and you check back in a little while. It's good coffee. So now you can go sign in to your Paralyze account if you've got one. You can go create a brand new one right there or you can sign in with any of those existing accounts. Your license agreement. Now this is the license agreement for Windows. If you're happy with that, you can accept. Now funnily enough, this has opened up Windows 11 installed successfully, but it's inside your new Windows 11. Now, how easy was that? And check this out, this is the best thing, is you can now go into your Windows Explorer, File Explorer, this PC, and there are the drives on your Mac. And finally, if you want to adjust any of the settings, just shut down the VM. Once it's down, you just click on the little config button, and there are some settings that you can adjust, including the memory, the CPU, and a whole bunch of other things. So Windows 11 and the Mac, done working well. Let us know down below in the comments whether it was a yay or a nay. And hey, if you wanna know more about technology on the Mac, on other bits and pieces around virtualization, and watch this next one coming up right here.